All right, you have an object in the Fabric database and you wanna rename it to another name. How the heck do you do it? Well, super easy. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the SP rename function in Azure SQL in Microsoft Fabric. Hey, do you want early access to this content for as little as $5? You can become a member and get, you support the channel, you get early access to all these videos. Make sure you like, subscribe, do that old YouTube thing that really helps out. All right, so we've been doing some videos here. I showed you in another video how to do the uh, into statement. So we've created the statement. We did the drop if table exists statement before that. Now we're gonna rename that temp table that we created over to the the, new, the production table name that we want it to be, okay? So we're gonna want it to be the new dim, Z new dim account. That's my production table name. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, right? Uh, I want it to be that. So what I'm gonna do is once this, this temp table is created, I'm then going to delete that table name delete the production table, and then use the SP rename function. Boy, I didn't do it. S execute SP rename. And I'm gonna put in what the table name is. And it's interesting, you have to do single quote and then the schema and the temp table name, and then just single quotes and the table name. For whatever reason, it doesn't like to do it outside of the schemas. It's not schema specific. So be aware that you're gonna you need to do this stuff inside of the schema that you're working on, okay? So I'm gonna like first drop the table if it creates, create the temp table, then I'm gonna drop my production table and do a rename into this. You're gonna ask yourself, hey Chris, why don't I just drop my production table and, and create the new table into that production space? Great question. You're gonna see in this demo, I'm gonna do this whole thing in sub second. Sometimes that SQL statement to create that table could take minutes or even longer to in order to fully populate it. You don't wanna have your production table that your reports and other things are hitting to not exist or to be partially loaded while things are coming in and loading into it. So what we do to ensure that we, we have complete access to that production workspace or production object is we load it into a temp table first, then we take that temp table when it's created, and then we re, you know, we, we quickly drop that, that production table name and then rename that temp table into it. That does a really fast cycle time. It is a sub-second, you know, like, watch, we're gonna run this in just a second here. You're gonna see how quickly this runs. So when I run it, you're gonna see that all of my things ha have run and operated, and you can actually look Right, like okay, it started to execute at, t at, uh, at 9, 27, 15 seconds. Well, it started executing, but then it didn't really start the query until 9:17. It finished all of those processes within that second, right? So it is really, really tight how quickly this happens. Uh, but all of this happens all at once, and and now I've got when I use this process, it's kind of the uh, you know, drop my temp table if it exists, load my temp table, drop my production table and rename from temp to prod. I've got a super solid data engineering process where I don't have to worry about these things uh, rolling over and breaking apart, all right? Let me know if you found this this helpful. Le leave a comment down below if you're using this. Are you doing anything else to enhance this process? I've got one other thing where I'm gonna show you like how to do rollbacks when this happens. Like, what if that table happens to now be all foobard? I'm gonna show you how to harden that process in the next video. Uh, leave comments down below, share, like, all that good stuff. I really appreciate it. You have the best day ever. Peace. All right, I know this like a lot, and 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 while I, I I believe in you and I know you're capable of it, if you if you just need help with these things, head over to BakerTilly.com/digital, click on get some help. Myself or someone else will reach out to help you out. All right, but if you think you can do it, and I got faith in you, check out this video or this video. <laughs> you're the best. <laughs> oh.